This is a picture of my mystery air hogs plane. It looks like it is part of the jet set line of air hogs. Otherwise, we don't know a whole lot else about it. I picked up this plane from our local Target. They were selling it on the shelf just below the air hogs jet set planes that they carry. Uh, this, of course, looks like it is part of the jet set line of planes. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual box art for the plane itself. As you can see, the box art just says that it's part of the jet set line of planes and that it's great for beginner pilots. Uh, that it is. It's a fun little plane. I do have a couple issues with the design, mostly being that the motors are mounted to the front set of wings, uh, which tends to make it a little, a little more powerful on the front end, while the rear end of the plane tends to drag a little. But overall, it's a fun little plane to fly. Here's some footage of my wife flying the plane. Um, as you can tell, the, the plane likes to go nose up and then kind of level down a little bit, so you tend to do a lot of swooping when you're in the air. Um, however, it's, it's pretty fun to control. Uh, it's really good for smaller areas. You don't really need a huge field to fly it in. Uh, the two little motors that drive the props are, are strong, but they're, they're not very strong for a really high windy day. Uh, you will notice that you will need a little bit of a breeze to keep this plane in the air anyways um, in order to keep that nose up as the tail does tend to drag a little bit. Um, but as you can see and as you can hear, it does have a decent little amount of juice behind it. This plane is a lot of fun for beginner flyers. You don't have to have a whole lot of experience to fly it. You can literally just hand launch it, throw it up in the air, give it a little throttle, and uh, have some fun with it. It did take several times to get it actually in a good flight. Uh, the first probably half a dozen times we threw it, we did a lot of crashing. Uh, but, you know, once you can catch a little bit of wind, you can actually get it up and glide it more like a kite. Airhogs makes a pretty good product. Uh, they make fun planes. The planes are, you know, just virtually motorized gliders. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can do as far as uh, trick-wise or stunt goes without doing modifications to the plane. Uh, there are some planes that are very well known and they have a decent community around them that mod them. Uh, the Aero Ace is one of them that had a fairly large modding community uh, back in the day. That was, of course, my first Air Hogs plane, which unfortunately made an untimely fate by being left in a, a car trunk and melting in the heat. Um, so, you know, you don't want to leave these things out and about. You don't want to take them in your car and leave them laying around because they are foam. Especially during the summer, the heat will melt them. Uh, one thing you will want to have on hand is a bottle of foam-compatible CA glue. Hey, you can pick that up from your hobby shop. Um, I use something that's made by eFlight. Uh, it's fairly expensive. I think the bottle that I have cost me about $14 from our hobby shop. Uh, but it's worth its weight in gold. After about, I don't know, maybe a dozen crashes or so, you may end up knocking the motors loose. From the plane, as long as you have some foam compatible glue, you can glue those motors back on and be back up in the air flying within probably 15 20 minutes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Feel free to visit our website at techiesmarts.com uh, for computer help. Uh, eventually, we will get some information about the planes on that site as well. You can also subscribe to our channel, uh, Tech ERC, by clicking the blue box at the end of the video. And you can also find us on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at techiesmarts. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Have a great day and thanks for watching.